found a picture we took many years ago. When I said to you we would never grow old. Messages I've saved that I never send. Cause I don't know you, but I used to back then. I remember that I was drunk out my mind when we kissed for the first time. In the back of your car we passed out counting stars. Promise all these years we pack our things and disappear. I never thought I would see you here. After all this time. What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from Casual Gamers Online. Ashley here, and just give me a minute, just give me a second, and let me change my some of the settings here. And we are done. Okay, guys, I'm here today just to share with you guys the opportunity of me hatching a bird. Okay, I actually bought two plots of land in Chua Chu Kang. Okay, chicken farm. No, just kidding. I'm going to actually hatch all the eggs that I have and then hopefully that I can get a bird out of the egg because for every bird I hatch, I'm, there's a potential earning of up to 15 USD if I sell the bird away but because I'm filling up my farm now so I'm not sure, I, I have a total of how many eggs let, let me check how many eggs do I have here okay so basically I have two rare farms on the game itself <clears throat> and then looking at the situation here of Yep, I got some more eggs coming tomorrow. So another five eggs coming tomorrow. But currently for my egg count, I have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So today I'm going to hatch 14 eggs. And every eggs, right, will give me an opportunity to make like 15 USD. So hopefully I have the chance here. And then I can actually convert my KC to KF. Later I'm going to do that and then see how much uh, curb that I can get. Then all these can be sold for money. I'm not selling any curb now. I'm just holding on. Hopefully that one day when more players come on board of this uh, factory chain and more people like this game and when the game grows, okay, then this thing will have a greater value. For now, one curb is about 16 cents. <clears throat> so per bird, you can sell about like 80, 80 curbs or 90 curbs, which makes you about almost up to 15 USD. So it's kind of okay, not bad money. It's not like those that you can actually earn a lot and uh, a shorter term of ROI. This game itself takes a while, but it only costs you like 50 USD just to get into the game. So it's super cheap. If now we put it at like 500 curbs, okay, if we put it at 500 curbs, you can get it for, I don't think these 70s are also out. These are also out. Okay, we have one here, 79, but might not be able to buy. So 80 is almost the 80 curb. So 80 curb now with the factory price. Let me check the price. Oh, Silent Man. Yep. I think that it's actually not bad because it's 0 0.168. Okay, let's, that's about 17 cents per cup. So 17 cents per cup. Let's do some calculation. Okay, how much money in order to have one NFT? But it's actually considered cheap uh, due to the current market because current market, there's a lot of like NFT games that is super expensive to enter. But this one is only 0 0.168. So, yep. So basically, it's about, let me see, it's about 13.5, 13 okay, 13.5 USD per NFT. So that is like less than $40, less than $40. Of course, you need to get curb so that you can actually buy uh, the water and the water, if I, I'm not blocking here, the water and the food for your bread when you put on farm. So any person who come into the game, if you don't have a land, you're gonna get a free land. So with free land, right, it's like 50, 50 USD. Of course, the last time I saw the price of curb was 0 0.24. Yeah, yeah, this is a good time. So I'm gonna hatch and then see whether I have the chance to get uh, all these birds on my chain. But before that, right, let me go and play one round. I'm gonna change my team. I need to clear my daily. I have not, I've not cleared my daily at all. So I definitely need to change away the birds. I need to get back my carrot shooter. Uh, definitely must why are you sleeping okay my carrot shooter is oh no i don't have any more carrot carrot is a must for you to get far they say that this one is not bad let's let me see 
Solar shot, short wave shot, and homing back shot. No, definitely not a good one. So I'm gonna change him away. Uh, how about you? How about you? Are you good? Let me see again. Heavy shot, shoe shot, homing boomerang shot. Okay, maybe this one we can try. Okay, instead of level 30, I'm using level 1. Let me see if where is my level 30, but level 6, level 11, level 19. Okay, level 30. Okay, so level 30. Okay, this one is multiple shot. Okay, so this one is good. Oh, where, what happened? Oh my gosh. I changed back. Just now dead. Bird. Is this any better? Let me see. Piercing shot. No, we, we used this setup yesterday. Wasn't that good. Oh no. That's the thing. You need to like change the birds correctly. Okay, guys. I hope you pure play more carrot. Yeah, I, I hope to have carrot. So I don't have it now. That's kind of sad though. Okay, level 30. And let's swap. Uh, let's change. Every time you change, you have to click. So squid. Level 10, level 1. Why is this bird though? Solar shot, multiple shot. Okay, this one. Okay, this one can. We can try this one. Okay, we can try this one. So we swap again. I'm gonna press this. My carrot bird is on mating period so at this time when he's mating period i'm gonna have a tough time playing it so let me see i've never used this before heavy shot shoe sword no no good no good no good, good. let's let's change let's get you level 30 okay okay save team let's try this out okay guys hopefully i can clear with this okay uh let's try it let's try it let's try it Oh, okay. Uh, basically the eight shots are not bad because the rapid fire the speed is fast. But problem is I don't have spread shot. I need it to like give me a power up. So if I have an orange big drop, then you'll be a power up. So let's see how it goes. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now we have multiple shot, which is good. Zyphi, you managed to get to wave 13, is it? Or how? what is the highest wave you ever get, get to for that? Because after these two games, right, I need to go and hatch. Okay, the problem with spread shot, right, is not strong enough. It's not strong enough to, like, defeat the boss. But the first level boss is still okay. Come on, give me a power. Oh, no. Boss coming. Anything except pick. Oh, no. Okay, this one, this one I can handle. So basically, this one will down. Okay, it goes down. Quite easy for the dodging for the first one. So let's look at the second one. Uh, next week, I have time, right? I will be breaking down the ROI. If you invest like 3 NFT, but how fast are you going to get back the money? And then, um, what else? How fast you gonna get back the money and then how fast you gonna break even and how fast you can actually start making money from the game and how much money you can make per day so far with my setting because i'm at 200 percent buff so it's hard to tell you guys cannot gauge based on me because i got two rare lands and then 200 percent buff on the okay let me see oh, okay i like this line this line is good so basically draw a line yes the line is a very powerful damage. No doubt it's slow, but it actually is quite useful. Especially against bo bossing when you can't like face it directly. I'm not sure whether if you guys already wake up on Sunday. Today is a good weather. Oh my okay, good, good, good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Oh what? Ah yeah yeah. Ah yeah yeah. Yeah, the shoe protection and the... Oh my gosh. Why? Oh my gosh. Why did I get damaged just now? It's not supposed to be this way. But it's okay. On the early stage, you can get damaged and then... Because you shouldn't get touched by any mobs all the way to the end.
I had a awesome lunch just only. So, yep. So I'm not going to take my dinner tonight. So I'm going to like stream for a while. Uh, not very long because tonight I'm actually on beta testing for Dine Together, which is one of the game I really want to play. It's super cute, super kawaii. Uh, very, 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 very cute. I wouldn't say very cute. Okay, now. Oh no, pick again. Come on. Okay, he's going to dash. Uh, going to go down. Up. And then let's draw draw line. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Lucky. As long as the big, two big balls. Way 16. Oh my gosh. 16. You must be kidding me. Zyphi, you want to play for me? 200% we do profit sharing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not good at all at this game. Wave 16 is crazy. When I reach wave 10, I'm really super happy because I can actually reach wave 10. But I did not cross the wave 10 though. It's kind of insane. I mean, wave 16 must be a one touch, one death. So any mobs that touch you, right, you should die straight away. Okay, oh my gosh, we miss, we miss, we miss one, one insect. Okay. What are you? Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Not going to make the same mistake twice. Here we go. Wave wave four, or wave five. I didn't see. In the AMA, is not mentioned six? Oh yeah, not mentioned. No, it's not. It actually takes about one month to ROI or so. I calculated before roughly, so it depends on how many NFT you have. Uh, for me, because I got like 38 NFT birds, so tomorrow we're going to add on more. And hey, today we're going to add on more because I'm going to like catch. So it's definitely going to take longer for me to ROI. I spent almost like close to 2000 USD on this game. Cause I bought two rare. Yo, what's up? Just for fun. I hope it's awesome. Oh my gosh, three days, but okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, three days, but come on. Okay, not bad. Uh, one thing they never tell you you're on wave what. It's just like the beginning part. They will tell you okay wave what, but they. Oh shit! Oh shit 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 shit! Oh shit! Oh shit 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 shit! Oh my gosh, I did not realize that the ice exclamation mark is this bird flying. And it got me hard. Oh shit. Oh, I don't like this number. Come on. Oh, no, no. Please don't hang. Please don't hang. Please don't hang. Please don't hang. No, the knocks. Don't hang, please. No. The hang. Oh, no, the hang. I don't think I can do it, man. Is there a chance to start for free? Yeah, you can actually start for free. But you can play and get a few out of it. But it's still better to start with less than 50 USD. Because now, uh, it's actually less than 50 USD. I can't play anything. Eh. Oh my gosh, the knocks lag. Uh, that's the problem. I definitely need to die because... 
if I exit now, right, I'll lose the 678 coins that I have. Is the lag normal in this game? No, the lag, the game actually doesn't lag at all if you play on mobile. Totally no lag on mobile. It's just because uh, playing on Nox, right, I believe some of the pro program that I'm running behind, that's why it actually lags. So depend on your cube health. If you if it's 95 point and above, about 2 to 3 times to touch, to die at level 15 and above. Oh, nice. Okay, at least I get a coin. Oh my gosh, it's lagging. I can't do anything. I definitely need to claim this one first before the game closes. I can't I can't play anymore. I need to close this because no point going for another game and at least I got 15,000. I want to change uh, 15,000 KC to curb. So yep, I'm gonna close this and then let's go on some hatching. Let's put on some music first. Let's put on some music and then let's go hatching. Okay, it might be lagging or uh, the the what what is that? They might have some problem. Okay, let's put on some music and then we'll check more of your video about this, no problem. So let me see whether if I can get 15 USD per egg that I hatch. So yeah, yeah, next week I'll be doing the ROI, like for example, for free to play player how much you can make and how long does it take to earn your first NFT and then also or followed by after that having one NFT and two NFT, three NFT then followed by like me, I got 38 NFT so we're gonna try everything oh, I forgot to collect my fragment just now but it's okay I'll remind myself to collect again so I got 15,000 KC that's what I make within one week okay so usually I'll do a week of farming uh the kc then after that one week uh after that one week right i'll use one day to break the eggs and after that uh farm for case uh case uh kf again for another one week so every week i rotate one week farm kf one day farm uh hatch the eggs one week farm kf then one week hatch the eggs so it's like seven to eight days on a rotation so every month i can rotate maybe like three times to four times three and a half times i would say so yep so i'm going to convert and then click the amount to convert 15,000 so I can get 100 curb here exchange your request has been presented it's still early just do your own research yep you definitely need to do your own research but I think it's a to me personal feel that I feel that it's quite a good time to come in now especially the price is awesome okay so I have like 353 curb now 353 curb here so I'm gonna save it uh. okay hopefully one day the marketing comes in more people hot on the chain a lot of people buy into the project and then the price of curb will go up but currently now I'm comfortable I'm just going to stick with this curb here and then see how it goes uh, I got no bird cops yet uh, they should have filter for us to, like we can filter this and that so this is the 14 eggs that I'm going to hatch today so ladies and gentlemen for all your guys who are watching please give me a luck for the next 10 minutes let me borrow a luck and let me open the door to the 15 USD that I'm gonna make. Okay, hopefully out of the reading right, I will be able to get something awesome. You can get rare or epic or even legendary birds, or if you're lucky enough. For so the last time, I actually breed an epic bird, and then uh the pre hey, the last one I breed a rare bird. The previous one I breed an epic bird. So today I'm gonna to try and then let's do the first first egg. Okay, uh, so it's gonna cause a little bit of fact. Uh, it's, 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 it's just see see how whether if I can get the hatching going they have some problem some of the hatching is not going through it's a problem with the blockchain so basically uh, the factory chain has some little bit of problem the developers are working on it and hopefully on the next patch yes the first bird guys out of the 14 as long as I get 7 birds I'm happy but with rare land I supposed to have 70% success rate so I, that said I should have 10 birds okay this time I have my first bird here Okay, this is my first bird, guys. So I got my first bird, and then let's try for the second bird. <laughs> yes, yes, come on, bird, bird. My little bird, bird. My chua chu kang bird. This is my chua chu kang bird farm, okay? My bird farm hatching all the chicken eggs. Then so let's hope you'll go through. Every time you want to hatch, you need to use three curb. So just now when I change 100 curb, right? So I total, oh no. It's not working. So that means the blockchain did approve but the thing did not work let's refresh again and then go to eggs 
did they take my curb or not? Okay, guys, take a look for me, right? Okay, now I have like 3, 6, 9, 12, 13 eggs. Okay, check for me if they actually draw my curb. Did they minus my curb? Hopefully, they, no, they don't do that, okay? If they minus the curb, that is kind of painful. Spending three curbs, but then you don't have... Yo, what's up, Alcatraz? It's been a long while, man. What's up, bro? I hope you have an awesome Sunday, man. I hope you have an awesome Sunday. Okay. No, better luck. I get so fragment for this. Let's try the third bird here. Please don't give me so fragment. I do not need your so fragment. I just need a bird to be hatched. Bless me with your, your bird. Come on. Bless me with a bird, not your bird. I'm so sorry. Yes! Another one. Another one. Another one in my cage. Let's try another one. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So they did not update. So I have like two birds. This is the third bird. So if this is successful or not, they're supposed to minus three curb. Okay, it's not working, you see, guys. So it's not working at all. The transaction feel okay uh i'm not sure what happened so i'm going to just like refresh this so they minus one one time curve and then i have like 9 10 11 so 11 so let's try the third one here 3 5 7 hey jolly ninja what's up it's been a long time jolly ninja Jolly Ninja, it's been a legit long time, man. I hope you're well. I've been well, okay. Uh, I'm actually dealing with a lot of family things. And then finally, get to settle. My mom is on. Yes! Yes! Okay, guys. This is the third bird. I have third bird, okay. I got seven more birds to go. Remember, every bird will make me 12 to 15 USD. So, I need the moolah, man. So, okay. Uh, Jolly Ninja, basically, my mom is going through the chemo. And then now it's on the second session. Coming to, now it's doing her third session. So once third session finished and fourth session finished by February, she should finish her chemo. Uh, she's not taking it so well because the body can't handle it much. But my younger brother is and uh, the wife is taking care of her a lot. And then for my father, now my elder brother is taking care. So I came back home here to have a break at the same time, do more content and then share with you guys what I've been doing when I'm busy taking care of my family. How much? How much bird need to start playing? Uh, you can actually play for free and try out the game. Uh, you don't need any bird. They actually give you a uh, free bird. You can actually just try out the three free birds that you get. Uh, also one free land. But then with NFT bird, then you can gain the hundred percent uh reward. So for example, if you play the game, uh, if you only can make like hundred cups or hundred KC. If you are a uh, one NFT, you only get like twenty percent. Two NFT at forty percent, and three NFT will give you like hundred percent. I'm going to do a video guide next week, and then show you guys how to get on board and how much break even. But for now, three NFT but is less than fifty USD. Super cheap on Fat Chain. You just change to BUSD, then hop on to the factory chain. I have the videos on my channel, so you guys can check it out. How to buy your first NFT bird, and then you will know. So from there, okay. I can't multitask, so when I answer question, I can't go on. Okay, the bad tech is back again. I got no idea what is this bird tech about. But basically, they keep coming on. Come on, give me a bird. Come on, give me a bird and I'll dance. I'll dance. Okay, where is my music though? I thought I have music and then it went... Yes! So pay it how long? You pay it how long? Oh my gosh, it's so lucky, man. <laughs> This is so lucky. Okay, I got I, I I totally can't remember how many birds I have. I believe that I have four or five birds. Let me go to the playlist. Let me play one song. Let me go to a uh, Mandelic dubstep or house. I actually prefer house music. House music is fine. I don't know if you guys can hear the house music. Yes, nice house music. So let's try, let's try. Come on. Bird, come on! Show me a bird, show me a bird, show me a bird, show me a bird. Bird, 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 bird. Come on. No! No! Oh no! I get a fragment so I can change for one free bird. For every 150 birds, you can get one free bird. All the best wishes to Mama and Papa. Thanks, thanks, Jolly Ninja. 
Thank you so much. And 2022, we're going to have a big blast, okay? There's a lot of things going to change in this channel. And there's certain things that is coming up. I hope you guys are still here. I really miss you guys a lot, man. Come on, come on. Make it happen. I want to see a bird. Come on. Yes! Yes! I got, I totally lost count how many birds I have. So, but I'm feeling lucky now. So let's the, let, let, let the luck follow on. I hope you guys can help me with that. One bird, one bird. Yes! Another bird. Yes! Another bird. Come on! Oh, the birdie in the house. Yes, I have the feeling. I take you high. Yes, let the bird take me high. Come on, one more bird. I'm not greedy. I'm just super greedy. Yes! Oh my gosh. I'm on fire, guys. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Give me another bird. Come on. No. I'm on fire. You just break my winning streak. Come on. Do bye, do bye, you yeah. Come on. Another bird. Another bird. Another bird. Yes. Oh. Oh. I'm winning it. Oh, this is insane, guys. Yo, what's up, Fluffy Kiddo? What's up, Fluffy Kiddo? It's been a while. Miss you so much. Come on. Give me a bird. Come on. Let me make that 15 USD. Yes. It's the right call to change two of my normal land to rare land, okay? Because I got 70% success rate. So now the last two birds. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, this is the last egg. This is the last egg we are having. I'm super lucky today. I already got 10 birds. Let's make it count. Let make it, let's make it 11 bird. Come on. Bird. Bird. Come on, bird. Come on, bird, 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 bird. Spin, 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 bird. Spin a bird. Spin a bird. Come on. Spin, spin, spin a bird. Oh my gosh, guys. I got exactly 10 birds out of there. That is like 150 USD that I've made. So I'm lucky I can change another bird, but I'm going to save the change of the bird and then see how it goes. Let me refresh here. Okay, I have I've used up like... It's weird. The curb, it's like 3 curb is so weird. I got 350 and then that's like 27, 9, then 8, 10 or something like that, man. You can get one more bird from Soul Exchange, yeah. I actually don't want to see the Soul Exchange. Let me see if I got any red. Yes! Oh my gosh! Guys! Oh! Oh, can you see? Can you see? I got it! I got an epic bird! That's insane! I got an epic bird, guys! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, I got an epic bird, guys. Oh my gosh, this is insane! Ah, uh, look at the power! 99! And the speed is 100, super fast speed! Vitality 98, luck is critical is 83. Oh my gosh. Red tail double shot. The beat will be gravitational shot. And then the wing will be boomerang 15 shot. Crit rate boost and tick. Oh my gosh, guys. You know how much I can sell this bird for? It's kind of insane. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm back to live stream, guys. I'm back to celebrate the winnings. Let's see how much I can sell on this. Okay, let me see. Epic. 250 cups, guys. Should I sell it away? 250 cups. Oh my gosh, that's insane. It's like, whether is it, it's still there? Okay, this guy don't have 100 speed. God arrow. Multiple shot. Actually, it's not bad though. Multiple shot, homing needle shot, and homing front shot. Okay. How about you? Actually, I quite like the mushroom also. 
double shot, oh, parabola shot and tricep shot, oh, this is not bad, 270, oh my gosh, one day ago, two days ago, should I sell, should I sell, should I sell, oh my gosh, they say if you to have two epic, right, you actually can get chances of higher, higher breed rarity of the bird, so I'm not sure whether I should sell, I think I should sell it, Yup, my guts will tell me that I should sell. So let's sell away this bird. Okay, it's a 72 hours bird, not so bad. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? The marketplace 250. Okay, let's sell it at 270. See whether if 270 any takers because this has a homing shot, a unicorn homing shot. It's a wind element. Okay, we got we got to sell him. Let's let us let us let us sell him off. Two seventy. This is bonus, guys. This is bonus. This bird equivalent to three birds. Okay, so we're gonna do the selling price here, and then accept here. I'm so lucky today. I'm so happy today. Oh my gosh! Later, I can't wait to play another game on Factory Chain, which is Dine In. So it's a restaurant simulation game. And which is kind of insane okay okay it's already selling so i have nine birds here and let's do the one last bird let me see okay eight four two three these are all the breeding there's eight thousand birds here so we're gonna change this fragment so to one bird your request has been entertained so we got to like refresh and then see oh i got this i got this bird i got this bird 72 hours nice so altogether, my entire farm is built, guys. So if you look at my island, right, this is the free island that I have, but this is the rare island that I have. I need to have 10 birds in order to fill this up. So now I finally have that 10 bird, which is kind of insane. Uh, not going to plant it now. I'm going to plant it tomorrow at 11 a.m. because I don't want to spend different time logging into the game and taking care of the birds. It's kind of like very, very tiring. So in that case, I'm going to just make sure that tomorrow 11 a.m i'm going to plant all this in so all the timing will be in sequence okay so to say that i will have one two three four five let me check out my bird account how's pvu already bro you never talk about it yeah the pvu actually has quite a few update uh ky low you one maple ma we jing san ke yue mei one maple le bu guo uh you ke neng hui wan hui okay you ke neng hui wan hui zhi yi yue de shi hou uh zhe ge xin nian guo lai wo jiu hui huan hui for PVU, okay, let me lower down the music. Okay, for PVU, right, they actually have quite a few awesome updates. Uh, let me get into the PVU. Wait, uh, just give me a minute, minute, bro. Just give me a second. Let me see. Let me see what is that. Okay, I have a 72 hours. I want to see whether if I can match one match here, two match, three match. Okay, three match, four match. That's nice. Four match. Only these two doesn't match. By four match, five match. Okay, this okay exactly got five match. I need to get extra bird here. I got forty nine NFT. That means I got forty nine NFT bird on these two island, which is awesome. So this is going to be insane. Uh, hopefully later I sell my curb that epic bird because with epic epic bird right, you're gonna get breeding here. And for now, if you want to enter the game, you see they have as cheap as like how much seventy four curb for four nine two. And then 62 curb for 2980. Oh, you have to look at the numbers before you buy. Oh, someone breeded a 300. 35 minutes ago, he actually breed a 300. Or he actually used that. Maybe it's what I sold the last time. Let me lock into the uh, what and show you guys. Plant versus update. Plant versus update. Smart chain. Marketplace, lock in, sign in. Okay. So this is my plan versus Andy. For new PVU players, PVU still can't use iOS uh, users to play, right? Yeah, you can't. Uh, the iOS usually they just like uh, give up about 400 to 500 codes. Then only 400 to 500 people can download iOS and use that that uh, that iOS uh, for playing. So it's very limited. Uh, compare, I think PVU still have maybe like 10 to 20,000 people still playing it. 
So what happened is uh, the best is use Nox, okay? I'm using Nox and Nox is one way to play and it's super easy to set up Nox. I have a video on how to play Qbert on the Nox. So you can actually reference that video and do it the same for your uh, PVU farm. Play on Nox, it will be super easy. And then for this plant itself, right? Uh, now they updated so the plants have different seasons so different season plant only can plant at certain time uh, There are other things that they came out with like the mini games of fishing a uh, very interesting fishing game You can do gathering fishing mining and also watering your plants taking care of a farm And all these will have this mini game and a lot of things that is going on I'm not sure whether you still I think you still get your free land with six, six spaces that you can do the NFT of course now the price itself is super cheap uh, you see for one rare 29 pvu which is less than ten dollars it's like how much 20 cents it's less than five dollars okay it's less than five dollars to get this I, I spent 600 usd before they clone to pv pvp and i'm not playing pvp because it's a kind it is a bit too slow for me so i decided not to touch the pvp for now on factory chain so maybe i should try once in a while but for me i did not try it so i believe my mmr ranking should be dropped to nothing by now so this is something like uh super cheap now for the plants and then if you go to the farm in the browser mode right they actually have the uni unity build the game on uh, web gl inside the unity web gl so you can directly see your farm here and i haven't logged in today here and wanaka at the same time so it's kind of insane okay it's still springtime and on monday i think on sunday morning the the, the springtime will change so i haven't watered all this and this time right round if you don't collect or harvest anything uh the the things will be gone okay if you don't harvest within that that given period of time then you can't harvest anymore so you have to be very careful and make sure you harvest i got fifty two thousand le uh of course last time your saplings will be able to change they are no longer giving out seed which is a very good news because the seed is the one that collects the economy and now you only can plant spring if i want to plant summer you see if i select they'll tell you can't plant because out of the season trees i can't so i only can plant those in spring so i have this electric ball and spring autumn for the wind one summer and spring okay yep so i can plant these plants with spring and then let's oh no what well, i need to add a pot and add water add a pot and add water so this is currently how it looks like now uh, but of course in future there will be a lot to come this is choose plan um the weather forecast now on spring going off another 14 hours more you'll change to another weather so after spring i think you have other things going on i'm not sure winter you can't plant any plants anymore the shop now they only left three items the scarecrow water and the small pots and then okay this is the this is the inventory that you have all your plants and everything the mother tree imagine i spent so much money oh my gosh in including this I, I actually spent quite a lot when they clone over to the pvp but too sad because you need to ranking you need to commit and then rank then in, in order to make money so i decided not to play for a while so i've not been playing this uh the next one other games that i have let me check let me check okay I think I suppose lock in like Wanaka. I haven't go into the Wanaka at all. I'm not sure Wanaka will be on this. Wanaka farm are improving very well. They did a lot of upgrade. They did a lot of things. They have tons of burning mechanics, which is kind of insane. Uh, let me see if I can get Wanaka farm. can i add a scene here new scene oh no cancer better add a um window capture i see if i can capture window add source g u no oh window capture no it's called dash cam nox nope it's not window capture so let's try a game capture how about display capture game capture do we have a game nope uh, guys sorry give me a minute right uh let me see 
if I can browser source display capture. If I'm gonna capture the display, oh, because Wanaka I can't pull the thing here, so I'm gonna pull. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this one to this side, so you guys can see Wanaka here. Okay. Uh. Oh, what? Password incorrect. Monaka is good and improving, but the community is toxic asking for fast ROI and blaming D for going down. Yeah, exactly. There's actually, if you want a game to survive long, right? It's best not to have super fast ROI because it doesn't make sense. The faster it ROI, you see, look at all the games that it actually ROI super fast. They are all dead now. You look at like crypto mines, uh, you look at crypto mines, you look at the PVU is one of them also because they are right too fast and a lot of people take advantage of it after five days and nobody is spending money on it and keep drawing out the money from the economy, the game will die. So basically crypto mines, BNB, H, uh, the BNB heroes, all these are really deep. And then now factory chain right came out a lot of games and they try not to have very fast ROI. You practically really need to take a month or two months to ROI, and they are emphasizing on the fun gameplay. You just play the game for and having fun, and at the same time while having fun, you actually make money out of it. So that's the thing, uh, for actual play to earn games. If you keep on hopping on to like you see arms legend arms legend die on the first day or second day the moment they can't pay out crypto blades die after three days four days after the ROI is super fast people are making like 500 usd per day and they die now the, the history keep repeating itself so we have to learn from the history we need to know that those games that change actually ROI super fast either you get in super early get your money out and then hope that the game won't close down within two weeks or one month imagine bnb h heroes right launch in such a short period of time it doesn't even last one month before the game dies off and a lot of people left hanging and lost money after we we get into uh into the game in the later part so a lot of guys has been playing i got into the game after two weeks of the game and then the third week after i get back half of my roi it takes about 10 days to roi in five days time the game already died i haven't even reached like five days of it and now the whole entire telegram is spammed with all those type of like nasty uh scammy uh wallet ask you to you're able to withdraw if you click instant withdraw wallet something like that so they will hack your wallet and then you'll be losing all your funds and everything from the metamask so you can see how crazy it is that all these undocks developers are so scary so the moment if they are undocks, right, you cannot dox them. Uh, it's very difficult that a game will last long because they can just pull and rug pull, and then in the end say that oh sorry because the players sell off, uh, they cannot hold economy because the player the some of the wheels dumb, so we cannot survive. These are all the excuses that they're giving up. So you do not know who they are and where to chase them down. They do they are not liable for any of the losses that a lot of people make. Okay, we have people from Crypto Mines actually committed suicide because of playing uh play to earn game. Like what I say, these all these games are non-financial advice. Okay, play to earn games will be the future of gaming. Definitely will be because it's an economic uh built for the gamers by the gamers. But problem with is because now there's a there's is a wow wow west, there's a lot of games that are scary outside. You don't know which one is legit. And which one is not and which one will last or not last and also the player's mindset is very different from actual gamers who want to play the game uh, most of the people in the play to earn sphere most of them are actually trying to roi and invest and earn money instead of just playing the game so that said that said uh the games are not up to triple a standard yet there's a few games that is uh, worth to play it's like the uh the 10 titan the MOBA and then of course Mir 4 and also a few other AAA titles but then the rest of it are simply browser click and play and Wanaka is one team that can be docked so they will never give up the project so easily even they have to been through shit they have been hacked by people and then stolen one million dollar they deducted one million dollar from the entire D team marketing team and everyone and paid out to the losses and then balance back and then those people who lose lose their land and everything they actually they actually uh how to say get them back 
give them back everything. So that's the sad case that they have to face with this kind of thing. The hacker is smart and they actually uh, use a backend API to hack the entire system and withdrawing 0.2 BNB every time to a different account. He created 150 uh, MetaMask wallet just to draw 0.2. So it was under the radar for quite a few days before they caught on. But by that time, the damage was gone and $1 million was lost. So it's kind of a sad case that they have to close down the game for one month to figure out how the hacker hacked through the system for backend API. But they did not give up because the developers are known. They show their public faces, their company, and what they are doing. That's why Docs games are better because Docs game, no doubt, the ROI is slower. At least you know they are there, and you just need a longer time to ROI. Just play the game, have fun until the end. If the game doesn't appeal to you, it's not fun at all. Then don't don't bought a project just because of making money you have to balance the both sides you have to make money at the same time enjoy the game like for Qbert, why do i promote something from factory chain by pvu i'm nothing affiliate with them i'm not associated with them but when i try Qbert, i actually did not want to touch it i don't want to touch anything from factory chain because it's related to pvu and i feel that pvu developers did something wrong along the way but they learn from their mistake okay they give away free nft and this and that and cause the economy to crash and they learn from their mistake mistake and then after that they give advice to newer games that on board them so they they actually take in they incubate some of the projects like the Qbert. Qbert has their own project team but they incubate under the PVU umbrella so the guys can work together in the office and they can give advice on how to launch the game, what is to watch out, what is the mistake that they make that cause PVU to lose so much money and also then um, how to say the dine-in. Dine-in is another restaurant stimulation game. It's super awesome, super cute. Really really cute. I really cannot stand it at all. It's super cute. So that's it um the pvu will give them advice and not to step on the landmine they have stepped before which is a good thing we cannot blame that because actually oh i didn't realize that you guys cannot see me just give me a moment huh? i've been talking without the webcam on so let me pull down and then pull down and then pull down okay finally you guys can see me so i've been talking and you guys cannot see my face <laughs> so what happened is that the pvu uh, they have learned their mistakes and they do not want the rest of the people who actually are doing blockchain, cha game, uh, blockchain gaming to follow their step. Okay, you look at Gala, Gala Games. Okay, Gala Games is going to be huge because recently the Walking Dead franchise, the Walking Dead game, uh, the Walking Dead Empire is actually launched on Gala Games. So Gala Games has notes that selling to other people. Yo, what's up, Potato Salad? What's up, bro? What's up? I hope you guys have an awesome, 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 awesome Sunday. So what happened is that these Gala Games have a lot of games that is coming up. One of the games that I'm playing is Town Star. Uh, I'm still cracking my brain how to create the best town that can run by itself. I'm going to show you guys a bit on the town star that I'm playing. Okay, uh, it's a town simulation that you need to create crops and sell and then make money from there. Okay, then, but town star, uh, the Gala Games is a super huge company. They make tons and tons of money. It's, it's, the amount of money they make is insane. They sell notes that people actually help to power. So they save money on server and they split the earnings of the games to the people who actually host the games for other people and then the second thing that is called the gala founders note and they will have a town star note soon and people can buy in to host town star game at the same time earn town star coin daily so it's more like a passive income without playing the game if you have a lot of money this thing might be able to consider and at the same time the third one will be all the games like the big titles are coming on board because they build a reputation for themselves okay they are built on ethereum chain which kind of sucky because the transaction itself i just want to buy a 50 usd membership which is a gold member on town star and it cost me 100 usd because 50 dollars go into the ethereum network gas fee which is ridiculous until now the ethereum network gas fee is insane and anyone who use it to do anything at all is kind of crazy and non non-logical at all not logical at all and it's said that uh ethereum is still expensive even lesser and lesser people using it the gas fee is still expensive so what happened is they are actually building their own blockchain and so that they can save on the gas fee and on the transaction transaction fee which is a good thing for gala games but factory chain actually built a blockchain of the Bi binance blockchain and then they have the chain by themselves and they try to have more games on board so anyone can hop onto the factory chain and and create a game on the factory chain itself and then they will be able to transact and then with the the, the 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 fee the fee is super low okay just now you see i do 15 
eggs hatching. If it's on Ethereum, you'll cost me 300 or 400 USD just to hatch the eggs. Okay, but on the factory chain, it cost me less than a dollar. Less than a dollar to hatch 14 to 15 eggs. So that's one good thing that I hope that the factory chain will continue to grow. And one day really can outshine and be on par with Gala Games. Okay, yes, they are Vietnamese company. Yes, they are all blockchain technology. They are very young people. They are very driven about the project. They have a vision that Factory Chain will be the next team on NFT games, which I support their idea. And then, of course, the game to enter the NFT is not ridiculously expensive. You only spend thousands of dollars to play games on the Factory Chain. You just spend less than 50 USD, you can actually enjoy the full game on the factory chain. So even the dine-in, you only need to buy one share, which is 20 USD, and you can start playing the game. So that's one good thing about it. Okay, I need earthworms. I can give them a fish. Claim 150. This is the daily that I need to do here. And then claim my wine. Ever meet Kakoi. Okay, this food, I can't remember. This folder, oh my gosh, this folder should be Apple. Something that is very scary. Farm work, not yet done. Apple, I do I have any more apple trees. No, it's either the cow or this. Apple tree will grow in that mini. I need to do the folder though. Factory product, and then here we go. Where is the apple process? Then after that, I need to do the. Is it clean? Yeah, I think it's clean. So here we go. For the. Oh, I okay crap. Ah yeah, I should max it. So you see, there's a lot of burning on 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 Wanaka. There's you need to use Y to burn, and you need to use energy. So at this point, when I'm super high level at level nine. I couldn't actually finish an entire plantation of my choice. Wanaka is good at improving the community. Toxic asking for ROI. Yep, okay. Watch on how to use factory chain properly. Someone on dine in server make a mistake and buy 300 USD worth of fat coin. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. If you buy fat token, you can use it for like six generation. 300 USD can use for 6 generations. I buy $2 USD. I already done 100 of transactions. I still haven't do. I haven't used even one, one factory coin. So it's going to be insane. Oh, let me see. Um, yeah. Let me see if Kakoi is here. Nope, Kakoi is not here. So the one way to look for Kakoi is when you go in and you look at the top right side of the screen. On top right side, the default island. If you see 1 slash 8, that means Kakoi is in the pond. You do not even need to run to the pond. You just need to go into this, this land and look at the top right hand corner. The default land is 0, 8 now. If it's 1 slash 8, that means Kakoi is there. So for now, I think I'm going to just plant. Let me see how many how many cabbage I have. Oh, I need to breed cabbage. 6 hours, so tonight at 11, 12 o'clock. I'm lazy, man. I'm lazy, so what should I do? Should I just break all counts? And then count is like 24 hour because the weekly mission will be tomorrow. So I let me break more counts then. Let me grow count because count is 24 hours. I don't take care of my counts. You look at the feed. It's only one fifth of the chance. So at one fifth of the chance I can only get like the count seeds. So I'm gonna just break. I hope they can come out multiple breeding. Then you'll be super fast. Now it's a bit slow. I'm trying to see if I can like watch my own live stream and then stream at the same time. Now because the, the, the mirror is changed both sides. So hopefully Wanaka will pick back up again. Uh the price will cheap. I buy I buy a lot of Wana at $2.70. Now it's like 45 cents or 50 cents. So that I took a hit there, but Wanaka makes most most money for me. I make a lot of money from Wanaka. I won land that I sold for 1,500 USD. I bought Wanaka at 17 cents and then I sold all of them at $4 to $5 during that time. So yeah, I made about five, six, seven thousand 7,000 USD from Wanaka before it's even launched. So it's kind of awesome and I will totally not sell this and forever play the game because Wanaka gave me the opportunity to open my eyes to NFT gaming. But I'm gonna keep a cow tomorrow. So should I keep a cow? Or 
two counts. That will be for tomorrow daily in the morning. Do I have enough counts? I don't know whether if I have enough counts for. Okay, let me see if I have enough counts. Count on me, Singapore. Okay, now we have the burn. They introduce burning of wine by buying food also. So there's a lot of burning mechanism. You it's just a chill game. You can't like ROI within like five days or whatnot. You have to take your time to ROI. Especially when you get a land like thousand plus dollars on the I'm not sure whether is it still thousand plus or a few hundred dollars because of the Wana price now. So I'm not sure how much will be then be I like to build a single line because I hate to turn. I like to keep myself empty at the center. So this Wana has a Christmas theme. I off the music by the way. And they are very, very nicely set. The last time I think we played the Halloween team. How many? 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. How many more do I have? Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7. Let's do it in the center. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so it's thirty-seven. I need to buy food though. So they change a lot. It's not like initially so easy, and now you can actually sell though. It's super easy to sell. I actually sold. I every day I got sell some stuff. So you can see, you go buy. Look at the fish, right? It's 56 mana, so I gotta sell. I got tons of fish that is lying around, so I'll just sell it for like 56. Don't undercut, so we can hold the price at 56. And then with the food 50, we can do the things now. One, they, they also increase the animation speed by a bit, okay? Especially fishing. Fishing is a lot. Initially, I like to have fish, but then after planting fishes, right, I feel very tiring because you, you need to like. The animation is super slow. So usually I watch a drama when I take care of all these service guys. So how what kind of NFT games are you guys playing? Any any of the guys who are playing NFT games, can you like list down on the live chat what games are you guys playing now and which is fun? I mean we have to do our own research because we never know that how long a NFT game can last for a certain category of it. You can mix and match if you decide to take a risk. High risk has got high, high, high risk got high cost. Okay, but now I believe that a lot of like undocked developers are rug pulling super fast. That means instead of lasting it for two months before they rug pull, they actually take like two weeks, three weeks. They just rug pull, or some even worse within the first week they rug pull. So that is the 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 worst part of it all. So if you gamble and you decided to go head on and then invest and then hopefully there will be ROI within five days, but the, the div can rub pool faster than your ROI, then that's it. But the thing is like those people who get in after that will be hurt so badly. So hopefully, I mean, I should stick to my principle. I've been staying away from undocked developers for a very long time after Daifi plant rub pool, uh, which caused me to lose more than 5 U 5k USD. And then I've been staying away and then waiting for all these original games to come back. So while waiting, they take too long to come back. And I decided to hop on two projects that is not uh, docs. That means the, the div developers cannot be docs. There's no way you can track them down and kidnap their docs, right? Uh, then I went into BNBH, which is BNB Heroes and Crypto Mine. And that burned me another 3,000 USD. So it's kind of sad. So PVU, I haven't ROI yet. So PVU, I'm burned with almost 3,000 USD or so. So altogether, I lose about 11,000 USD just on NNT gaming. But I do make it back from other games and whatnot. So luckily, there's still legit games like Spaceship, uh, when the developers are dogs. Spaceship, Wanaka. Uh, PVU, I would say that they won't run away because they set their own, own, own factory chain. And they are trying their best with the direction. So I see if they want to rug pull, they put in so much effort, then they would have rug pull long time ago. But they are still trying to save P uh, plant versus undead uh, on the farming farming side. Watch on how to play on. Okay, 
so far earning about 200 days or 200 dollars every two weeks playing with six kitty it's like candy shot six kitty what why is that six kitty is it fun oh 200 dollars every two weeks is not bad though six kitty i got the first generation nft four years ago when ethereum launched the kit uh the kitties and i decided to hop on the uh the the, the what wait wait let me see if i sell my stuff not so yet okay am i going to buy some apple tree apple tree is at 50. should i plant some apple tree i need some apple tree for tomorrow quest so might as well buy apple tree okay this is how that people with single player one uh sing uh default island can play oh feel 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 oh no 53 54 55 56 56 56 and 56 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 oh my gosh i bought 7 i need another one The guy who is selling now is lucky because I bought all eight. One, two. It's like Candy Crush. What is the What is the meme? Is it called Six Kitty for the Candy Crush game? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! I bought over. It's like already done. Wait, that's it for Wanaka. Nothing much. Every day I just lock in to take care of the farm. And then that's it. I didn't even water or take care of it. So I got two two fishes that give Y here. These two fishes give me some mula. So these are the mutation plant that I have. I until playing now I only got two fishes. So oh no more. My last bit, I draw out the 3006 and then here got 1006. So left 680. So 12,000 Y which I can withdraw okay which is kind of awesome okay Kakao is still not here I cannot complete my quest on farm work yes I complete on moon count yes I can complete you can have one count and tomorrow one more count that's nice apple I can't complete no apple meet Kakao my weekly quest I really done so I have like 12,000 Y from here it's nice Okay, that's it for this one. So let's go to. Let me see. Where is the. Where is the. Is it this one? Oh. Okay. So I'm going to like. Wait, let me lock out. Lock out. Okay. And then quit. Okay. And then drag this back okay so yep space it is not bad space it, i'm making about 20 usd per day so let me lock into space it and show you guys let me lock into space it and show you guys okay so this is space it so space it right there are different games for the N the kitty and nft currently they have one pet garden candy crush another game will be released next month kitty nft okay so what i just google kitty nft then i can find is it this one wait let me see kitty nft no don't tell me it's this one no way right no way is from this i got tons of cats from here are they launching buy sell create collection breed adorable crack puzzle alongside other players chase limited play games in kitty verse are you talking about this one zyphi are you talking about this one zyphi oh let me get some water oh my gosh not close it not that one oh not that one i thought that this one oh my gosh
this is this is the one this is the crypto kitties that i bought in the last time i think i spent about three ethereum or four ethereum to buy about 20 20 kitties and then it was dead after two months i have all my kitties and i didn't know that it's still here and i got no idea people are still playing it it's built on ethereum blockchain that time it's kind of crazy okay so okay let's go back to space it so space it here okay i can do the space is super simple okay super simple and then you can withdraw and then you can fight all this i think my reward history i actually claim almost 500 over sip for one week of playing i didn't play much because i put a mining i was taking care of my father so i got no time to play every time and sometimes i forget about it so if you go to battle right you can actually play pvp pve sorry so you go pve you got 30 fuel okay you need every battle need five fuel so you can play about six match okay and you need about 25 hours to recharge the 30 fuel on base on the base station and once your fuel runs out you can't mine mining will earn you 24 hours for like 30 space seat. but playing pvp will give you about 67 66 to even 70 space seat, uh every time I, I almost win most of the time i'll look at the hp for example now i got 94.23 hp i'll go and look for one that i can take one hit so i look for the lowest hp which is this one 91.12 so sometimes even i got hit right there's chance that i might survive and i always place my two guys right in front here and then i wouldn't take suggestion i will just change a bit here and there and then hopefully i'm lucky enough to see whether i can hit them come on yes i hit one so i didn't take that suggestion you see i moved this one back to here and I got hit. Oh yes, they hit me once. But I believe I can win. Yep, I won. So it's 11.87 SIP. Okay, if you check the space SIP current coin market. Uh, space SIP. Space SIP. So it's 31 cents. So 31 cents. If you play 11, uh, no, you can play 6 games per day. So it's about 6 games per day times six times wait six times 11.87 mine is higher because mine is like so it's about 70 sip per day times 0 0.3297 so yep so you make about 23 usd playing the game every day 23 usd playing the game i think it's fine because 10 days is about 200 dollars per month about 600 so if the price stay at this price at 32 cents and 97 and they actually incorporate with a lot of things they do a lot of marketing they actually have a lot of uh collaboration and whatnot so which is awesome okay in that case i'm gonna fight one more just next check out the hit point is it 90.95 i'm able to take one hit or 86 this one is definitely a good one because even i take one hit from them i'll still win so it's a sure win thing i'll just put two at the corner random again don't take their advice all the way uh i'm gonna change here and then i have a feeling maybe here also yeah let's 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 try it out hopefully i'm right oh no it's at the far end but i still can take one hit so if they hit me once right i still can tank and win the game so that is so easy to win on this game it's super easy to win on this game 11.62 so basically it's about 70 for me at current level i'm at level 9 now at level 9 i'm earning about 70 space hit per day uh with two rare i bought it uh during the good time so at 500 space hit you actually can like uh recruit recruit the thing so for the base station right if you go to base station these are the two nft i have oh level 10 i just raised level and you go to reward history right these are unclaimed so every 40 hours you can claim so if i play and play and play my reward balance is only 23.5 seat so you play for 40 hours you can actually claim here and then you'll go up to here and here to withdraw right you need another five days every day they'll deduct 10 percent so you need five days in order to withdraw this amount but if i want to withdraw now i can take a 50 percent hit which instead of 658 seat right i only get maybe get like 300 plus so which is not worth it I'm just going to keep it here okay uh two seat is two space seat is good enough because having three space seat right unless you put in mining you got no time to play you can have an army you can actually build an army for mining 
So if you keep on buying and then just put on mining and then play with your main two uh, NFT, which is the rare one, that will be enough. So for me, this space is considered not bad. Uh, I make about 20 USD per day. How much do you start in space seat? 100 and... 100... <laughs> And 65, let me see. I cannot see Silent Bun. For this one, right, you need to recruit and buy the... If you go recruit, okay, you can use 500 SIP to buy one box. And then hopefully, the box will open up. Sometimes they congratulations, you only make 470 back. So you burn 30 SIP or you burn 50 SIPs. But if you are lucky enough to buy a ship, right, so it's not guaranteed that you definitely get a ship. So if you get a ship, right, uh, you can get it there. So to me, let me count. Uh, now with this 500 SIP, right, 500 seed. How much will it be? So 500 seed times 0 0.32. So it's about 100. It's about 160 USD. 160 USD to buy into the game. You can play even with one character to do the 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 fighting. So if it's not a rare one, you only earn maybe like 2.3 or 3 seed. But if it's a rare one, you get about five to six seed. Uh, with one and just one NFT. So usually I will advise for my own, uh, no, no financial advice, you have to do your own research. This project is super legit because the team can be dogs and then they are very open, they do AMA all the time, uh, they know what they are doing. So with that, right, 320. So 320 USD to invest in to NFT. So if you are not rare, you make about maybe 8 to 9 SIP per game. 8 seed, but if I'm not wrong, it's about 6 point something seed or 8 seed. Okay, let's put it like 7 seed per, per match. So 7 times 6, you earn about 36. So you earn half of what I'm making. So in that case, you can earn about 10 USD per day. So it'll take you about 1 month to ROI. But if you're lucky enough, you get a rare, you can ROI even faster. Or you can just sell it away because the price will be 3 times the amount that you pay for if you get rare. So some of the people will open up just for fun to see how it goes. They have the marketplace, if I'm not wrong, yeah. They have the marketplace, as you can see. Now you can buy a cheap one for 380 seat. Okay, if the price drop, you wait for the price drop, you can actually buy this. Because they don't have Oracle system, so the price is like, if the people never change their seat fast enough, you can just buy it. So there's a level 4, 385 seat. Uh, lower price, my listed, my offer. Or you can search rare. So let's see how much rare. Okay, rare is about 1,100 seed. So if you get a rare, you can sell for double the price. Actually, not so bad though. I feel that, you see, if you buy this 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 seed itself, it's 1,100. So basically, it's like 300, 350 USD. But with this, you can actually earn back quite fast. 30 days again. But because, like I say, this game, it all depends on the whole entire, uh, how to say, the peak, okay? Everyone, every game has its peak, uh, they have like, when I'm playing it for the first time, I have like 11,000, uh, there are 11,000 holders, but I'm not sure now. They're going to introduce PvP soon, and they have one event which is called the Explore. So this Explore you can play, and then you can have rank ranking next time or so. So basically, you just fly around. And then try to shoot as much as possible. Wow, I play super long, man. Just for one play itself, I play more than half an hour. So I couldn't couldn't stand it. Uh, event coming up. A lot of things are coming. The mining is super simple. If you really don't have time, all you need to do is just put your ship into mining. And every day, you can earn about 32, 32 ship based on my, my own ship. Okay, my space ship is rare with Genesis. So with Genesis, there's a 2% extra. And we rare another 2% on the planet that I'm mining on. So it's 4% extra for every every spaceship. So for that case, that's why uh, it's a good earning. So far, this is one of the best earning game that I have on hand. I'm waiting for Monster Infinite that will be coming out soon. Uh, one month later. And of course, I'll be waiting for this. Wait, let me go for the YouTube. Uh, Monopolis. Monopolis. I'm waiting for this. I'm waiting for this. So this, guys, you can listen to this, this game, wait, can y'all hear by the way? 
So first Let me off the music. So I'm choosing one hundred moto bed for my room and then connect the Okay, so basically this game is called hey Monopolist. Okay, I have a big bag of this. I super like the project, that's why I have a super big bag of this game. Okay, this game will be out uh before December ends. And Welcome this is how you play. So today So you create match. I'm not sure whether you guys can hear it's a lady. We're gonna do a little bit walkthrough of the gameplay. So first we need to create a room. So I'm choosing 100 moto bed for my room and then connect my wallet and confirm. So in order to play right, you actually bet with another player. They got 1v1 and 1v4. So if every player bet with 50 mono coins right, in one game you're lucky enough you're able to walk away with 150 winnings uh, mono coins. So they, he's playing, she is playing 1v1 for now. Now I'm gonna wait for another players. Currently it's on alpha test, only the white listed people get the chance to play and someone created a, a review and a guide for this game itself. It's kind of quick to find another player and the game will start in 10 seconds. I'm playing one versus one mode here, each player gonna have 2 million Guys, you can see this is very familiar to Monopoly. It's something that a lot of people like. I like the game super much. That's why I'm holding the back since IDO. So since IDO, I buy it. Then after that, when they launch, I buy it again. I keep on buying it until I have a super big bag of Mono. An initial cap when we begin the game. The system gonna choose randomly who gonna go first. Then you just rolling dice and buying properties, selling houses, upgrade your house in order to win the game. So there are five different ways for you guys to win the game. First is all other players are bankrupt, unable to pay rent. Um, second is you can own all cities in one direction or all the resorts in the board. You can also win if you own three pairs of cities of the same level. In case of timeout, whoever owns the most valuable assets will win. If players roll double pairs of 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 and so on, you will get an extra row. If players row double three times, they must Im immediately jump to the islands. Each of us will have 10 seconds for each actions in the game, like row dice, buy a property, upgrade or sell a property. If the time limit is reached, the system will automatically perform the action. If there's no interaction three times in a row, players will be kicked out and lose the match immediately. All of this information, game rules and stuff you guys can find on our Twitters, our Telegram announcement. We have a lot of information uh, up there. So go check if you uh, feel unsure. So to be honest, I can't wait for this game to be out so I can play with you guys on live stream. So next time if you guys are on this game, let me know we can have a game on the live stream. It'll be super fun and then we can talk about it on Discord. Okay, we can have Discord chat here on the headphone and then we guys can join the game. I can't wait, I can't wait. So it's practically less than one week plus. So they already confirmed they're definitely going to launch within this month. They already fine-tuned because they did not want to launch early. They try to fix certain bugs and whatnot and they want to have a very good gaming experience. But that's it, when they do the beta version, when they all, all launch it, then definitely there will be still having some bugs and whatnot. But so far, it's quite polished for the one versus one. I'm not sure about one versus four yet, but sure about the game. Uh, that's how I'm it looks like. Relax. And this is only one part of the game, guys. Okay, the other part of the game is you know the NFT, this dog, uh, this Doge, uh, Doge coin dog, and this Ethereum guy. I believe he's Vitalik or someone or someone else. I don't know who is wearing the T-shirt. The guy. Okay, the NFT you can actually use it for staking. You can stake it, and then after that, uh, level it up. When you have different NFTs, you can collect. And then stake it and then uh, game game mining rewards in mining pools while you play this game. So you can actually stake and then play this game at the same time to win money. And play the game until I win. You guys can apply your own strategy to the game. Um, for me now, I'm just going slow and steady. Why this dude right here got a lot of houses already. Each square is owned by only one player at a time. The value of rental properties will increase depending on the level of houses built on that square. So this dude right here just landed in one of our chance cards that give him an access to the visa-free airport square. So there are going to be three chance squares entitling players to different chances, completely randomized. 
The chance cards have three levels, gold, silver, and copper, with decreasing value respectively, which can adversely affect the player's progress. Land house 1, house 2, and house 3. Okay, that means you can slowly buy your way up to a bigger house. Rats. Owning assets in multiple cities of the same tier, determined by the same pavement color, will increase the real estate value of all properties in that tier. So there are many different squares with different functions. So for example, in my case, if you land it on tax, you have to pay tax. So it's very interesting. If players pass through the start square, you got extra 300k. So I just landed on my opponent's land, which is 510k, and I only have like 200k, so I don't have enough money to pay the rent. So when I don't have enough money to pay the rent, I have to sell my own properties. As we carry on the game, you guys can see that I'm doing like poor people strategy here by just buying small. Okay, that's it. So guys, will you all be playing this game? Right? Will you be interested to play with me? <laughs> Who knows? I can sponsor some mono. <laughs> and win my own money. Play and win my own money. Okay, so basically these are the few things that I will be definitely into. Uh, dying together. Wait, let me see. Dying together. This is one of the games that I'll be playing tonight. Uh, I will not be streaming Mirror 4, uh, Mirror 4 Challenge tonight. Because I streamed Mirror 4 Boss, boss clan, clan Boss yesterday. I will not be streaming Mirror 4, uh, Mirror 4 tonight. Okay, so basically let me change, wait, let me change to the factory chain. Okay, so this dying together is super cute, super fun. Uh, it's a restaurant simulation game. And I think they have a video out on dying together. Let me see. The video was very well done. Wait, let me see. Uh, let me go and grab the actual video. So basically, you earn tips. And really, recently, they just upgraded. Initially, the tips wasn't... Uh, the tips was, was only giving to player for them to buy something at Marketplace. But now the tip can be changed for USD. So which is awesome. Let me grab the Dine Together video. Okay, the test will be on 15 p.m. UTC 19th of December, so which is tonight. So a lot of people are they, they actually have very good vibe vibes. It's lucky that I never see any any like shitty shits uh emocon on it. Let me watch, let me see they have a very good video on it. Okay, F U S D whitelist AMA Yep. Okay, this is the video. This is a damn cute video. I'm gonna play this tonight. We order a salad and have the cook and serve the salad. Your food sucks. <laughs> So different chefs will be able to offer different kind of dishes to the people who come and order. And you don't have furniture, so the, the you you can actually you have to buy your NFT chair and buy your NFT table. You need chair and table. So far I only bought two tables and two chair. So guys, maybe tonight if I'm lucky enough, I'll stream in Discord and let you guys see how is my restaurant like. So you can customize on the land that you have. If you have Shangri-La land, you use Shangri-La furniture, right? you'll be able to get it on so yeah this is the video that that actually shows everything which is awesome so i'm going to play this tonight okay this this is one of the game that i want to play or uh, i really like even the game is not making money i'll still play it because for the cuteness of it it's just too cute to me okay if you go to the let me see if i log into the factory chain switch network Okay, um, sign in. Hey, hi, Brian. So basically, if you look at this, these are my chef, guys. I have one chef that can cook three items. Uh, the, I got no idea why it's that. Looks like the, a French dish and then the ramen, I think, and uh, ice cream. And then I have six apprentices, you know. Oh my gosh, I have chocolate cake. On my apprentice, Lamian, or uh, I got no idea. Maybe this dumpling or what. 
and then the sundae, the ice cream, the, the cocktail. I have two cocktails here. And I have one with pizza, finally. So one with pizza and one with burger. So you can see these are the rare. Junior chef are the green colors that can cook two dishes. So I got three junior chef and then uh, one head chef. But I don't have master chef, which is quite sad. And my furniture, these are all my furniture. I bought in the Shangri-La and then super cheap Olympus one. They are selling like three dine or four dine. I can't remember. Super cheap. So I bought it. Very cheap dine. Eh, not 30 dines. I think 30 dine. So that is like $3 USD or something like that. So I bought this. I got two table. I got one table here. I got two stove, two table. All two different design though. I got three chairs. Don't tell me I got three chairs and three tables. Am I having three chairs and three tables? Oh, GG, wait. How many chairs and table? One, two, three. I got three chairs. Table? One, two, three. Oh, I got three tables. This is one of the tables also as well. So if you see, if I put table right, I have one. Oh, I got four tables. What the heck? How many chairs I have? I got three. I got three chairs. Oh my gosh. Let me go to the marketplace. Let me go marketplace. I'll buy furniture. Shangri-La. Let's look at chair. Ah, oh, 35. I can't afford to buy. I only got like 34. Dying. Oh no. I only can buy the cheapest one. Let's, let's go for the cheapest chair. I don't want Sangrila. So I just want a chair. Let's go chair. <gasps> so expensive. I don't want latest. I want lowest price. <gasps> 23. Okay, Camelot. Shangri-La. Shangri-La chair. I need a Shangri-La chair. Okay, bye. Bye. My. Linker, my puyo sa chuo. This is damn cute. All right, I'm just playing this for the cuteness. It's too cute to miss. So, of course, I need to approve. Speed up bidding. Come on. Beat, 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 beat. Hopefully, I can buy this chain. Yes. Yes, guys. I bought my chain. So, you can see, we don't go marketplace. We go my account. Inventory. So, um, basically, if I go to the furniture... Chair. I got one, two, three, four chair. Yes, four chair. Table. One, two, three, four table. Okay, good. Do I have door? Oh, I have a door. It's going to be super cute. Oh, deco. I got so much. I got carpet. I got a lot of deco, guys. I got TV some more. I got lamp. Oh, my restaurant is going to cute. Oh, I got two Shangri-La. Oh, I got Asgard TV and the Shangri-La TV. Shangri-La TV is plus two only. Asgard TV is like plus 12. Okay, let me see if I got kitchen. Oh, I got two kitchen. Okay, good. Shangri-La kitchen. Nice. Why is this savory? Why is savory though? <laughs> I got no idea why is that. But good, 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 good. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play this game later. So during tonight's test, you see I got a Shangri-La land. This is my land. My land, my land. I don't have card yet. No data. Can't wait. Let's see how tonight will go. And then now, oh, what? I got no money to buy chef anymore. <gasps> oh, this guy sold for 3,000. 3,000 dime for a master chef. You must be crazy. But you can actually earn 60,000 tips. And then what is that? Oh, soot. Someone bought a master chef at 1180. Wow. The character is super cute though. Nice. Okay, guys, I think that's, uh, that's it for today. I've been streaming for uh, one and a half hours. I need to play one more game of this Curb Shoot Bird thing, but currently I couldn't get it to like work. It's going to lag. I need to shoot more birds. Shoot more birds. So I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. Okay, I shall shoot the bird. Then I'll end. Oh, no, I end the stream first. Then I'll shoot the bird so it won't lag. You know, I'm going to waste my money lagging it. <laughs> so guys, I'll see you guys back again. Okay, again, I'll be doing up more content and uploading more content on the next week. Hopefully by next week, I should settle all my work stuff and everything because year-end, I'm super busy with my work together, with taking care of my parents. And also now, uh, coming back home, I have a lot of things lined up for CGO. Hopefully I can get alliance with the developers and get everything ready by 2022. Uh, the time is a bit short. I have exactly one week plus to finish everything that I need to prepare. 
again i want to thank you guys for always supporting this channel and coming back to see me because i miss you guys so much i gotta say goodbye to you guys sayonara arachikubara horror stream will come okay once the schedule come out uh, by next week i'll put up the schedule let me plan a bit by next week i'll put up the schedule horror stream tentatively will be on monday and wednesday it'll be by me because audrey is not free anymore so i'll be streaming all the horror stream and then 2-4 is most likely 2-4 will be most likely um the nft then after that saturday will be maple or nft so it's it's it's, it's game, horror game I just want to see me shit my fan i just bought a few more horror games I just bought a few more when Steam actually notified me about sales. I just keep buying horror games. I think I got about four to five horror games sitting inside my Steam, waiting for me to shit on them. So yep, see you tonight for dying. Yeah, see you tonight. Chat now. I can't wait to play. Fastmo got new patch. No one to hear about it. Don't want to see about it. Don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, you, I need to play four players game. I need to find four four more players. Okay, so for that. I want to say goodbye to you guys. I love you guys. I'll be back. And see Geo in 2022 will be a big one, okay? Will be a big one. I love you guys. Bye. Chane. Five Nights and Freddy's. Security Breach F. Oh my gosh. Another Five Nights and Freddy. Eugene Chong. I didn't know Eugene you're hiding behind. Oh my gosh. When Eugene is here, Eugene is like the horror, horror, uh, how to say, the horror curator. He actually curate and actually give us a lot of information and a lot of games to play. It's so scary. I'll see you in Discord, guys. Bye.